Hello mga Kakit Angels! Welcome back for another Mathinate episode. This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joy Me. For third quarter's week 8 lesson, we will perform construction of polygons specifically on triangles, squares, rectangles, regular pentagons, and regular hexagons. After going through this module, you are expected to construct triangles, squares, rectangles, regular pentagons, and regular hexagons. Constructions in geometry means to draw shapes, angles, or lines accurately. These constructions use only compass, straight edge, for example, ruler, and a pencil. In drawing the geometric shapes, we need to use some geometrical tools. First, we have the ruler. It is smaller than a meter scale. Generally, it is 6 inches or approximately 15 centimeters. It has centimeter and millimeter marks on one edge. The opposite edge has inch marks. The marks on the ruler are called graduations and the ruler is called a graduated scale. Second, we have the compass. It is an instrument with two metal arms. One of the arm has metal endpoint and the other arm has a screw arrangement which can hold a pencil tightly. The distance between the two arms can be adjusted. It is used to draw an angle, circle, arc, etc. And lastly, we have the protractor. It is used to measure angle. It has a degree marks on the semicircular arc which ranges from 0 to 108 degrees. The midpoint is at 90 degrees. The angle between two consecutive marks is 10 degrees. The marks written on curved edge at an interval of 10 degrees. Let's begin on how to construct a triangle given its three sides. Say you need to construct a triangle having side lengths 6 cm, 7 cm, and 4 cm. Here are the steps. Number 1. Draw a line segment measuring one of the given side lengths of the triangle. Let's draw the side having length 6 cm and mark its endpoints as A and B. Use a ruler to carry out this step. Number 2. Set the width of your compass equal to another given side length. Let's set it equal to 7 cm. Retain this width for the next step. Number 3. Place the tip of the compass on one of the endpoints of the side AB. Let's choose to place it on A. And draw an arc on either side of the line segment AB. Number 4. Set the width of your compass equal to the length of the third side, which is 4 cm in this case. Retain this width for the next step. Do this following step 2. Number 5. Place the tip of the compass on B and draw another arc which cuts the previously drawn arc at some point. Say it is C. And lastly, join C to each of the points A and B to complete the triangle. Triangle ABC conforms to the specific dimensions. AB is equal to 6 cm, BC is equal to 4 cm, and CA is equal to 7 cm. Erase any extraneous constructions if you wish so. And that's it. You constructed a triangle having side lengths 6 cm, 7 cm, and 4 cm. How to construct a triangle given its two sides and one angle? In this lesson, we will learn how to construct a triangle given two sides and an angle between them, or the SAS, side angle side. In order for the triangle to be unique, the angle given must be between the two given sides. So now our task is to construct a triangle PQR given that PQ is equal to 4 cm, PR is equal to 5 cm, and angle P is equal to 120 degrees. Here are the steps. Step 1, we construct a 120 degree angle at P. Step 2, 
we construct two line segments of 4 cm, we will name this as PQ, and 5 cm, we will name this as PR, from P respectively. Then, draw a line from Q to R to form the triangle. How to construct a triangle given its two angles and a side? For the ASA or angle side angle criterion to be satisfied, the given side must necessarily be the one that is enclosed by the known angles. The criterion does not hold if any of the other side's measurements is provided. You will be needing a ruler and a protractor to construct this triangle. Let us say, in a triangle ABC, the measures of the angles are angle CAB is equal to 45 degrees and angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees. The length of the side AB is equal to 3 centimeters. Here are the steps. Number 1. Using the ruler, construct a line segment AB of the length 3 centimeters. Step number two, using the protractor, draw a ray at point B, making 60 degrees with the line BA. Step number three, similarly, draw a ray at point A, making 45 degrees with the line AB using the protractor. And number four, mark the point where the two rays meet as C. Thus, you obtain a triangle ABC of the required measurements. How to construct a square? A square is a quadrilateral with four right angles and four congruent sides. Learning to draw a perfect square using either a protractor or compass is a useful skill. First, we will do it using the protractor method. Step 1. Draw a side of the square using ruler. Keep track of the length of this side so you can make all four sides the same length. Step 2. Considering the side drawn in the previous step as one of the arms, construct a right angle on each end of it. Thus, the end points of the side drawn in the previous step would also be the two vertices of these right angles. Step 3. Mark a point on each of the newly drawn arms of the two right angles at a distance measured from the respective vertex of the right angle, which is same as the length of the side drawn initially. Join these two points. There you have it. You just drew a perfect square. Erase any extraneous constructions if you wish. Now let's construct a square using the compass method. Step 1. Construct a right angle. Let's name it angle LMN as described here. Make sure that each of the arms are longer than the desired side length of the square. Step 2. Place spike of the compass on the vertex of the right angle constructed in the previous step, example on the point M, and set the width of the compass equal to the desired side length of the square. This set width remains unchanged until the entire construction is completed. Then draw an arc cutting the arm MN at some point, let's say P, and then draw another arc to cut the arm LM at some point, let's say Q. Step 3. Place the spike of the compass on point Q and draw an arc somewhere below the arm MN. Step 4. Place the spike of the compass on point P and draw another arc which cuts the arc drawn in the previous step at some point, let's say R. Connect the points P and R and the points Q and R using a straight edge. The figure PMQR is a square. You may erase other unnecessary constructions if you wish. How to construct a rectangle Drawing a rectangle is simple once you know what to do. In this lesson, we will be needing a ruler, a sheet of paper, and something to draw with. Here are the steps. Number 1. Draw a straight horizontal line using a ruler. Using a ruler will help you make sure that your line is straight so that your rectangle turns out neat and even. 
make the line however long you want your rectangle to be. This line will be the top of your rectangle, so draw it wherever you want the top to go. Number two, make a shorter vertical line coming down from one end of the first line. Use the ruler to draw this line too, so that it's straight. The angle between this line and the first line should be 90 degrees. Make sure this line is shorter than the first line you draw. If it is the same length, you'll end up drawing a square instead of a rectangle. You can use a protractor to measure the angle between the vertical and horizontal lines. Number 3. Draw a horizontal line coming off the bottom end of the vertical line. Make sure this line is straight like the first two lines and that it is the same length as the first horizontal line you drew. This will be the bottom of the rectangle. This horizontal line should be parallel with the horizontal line at the top of the rectangle. Number 4. Draw a vertical line between the ends of the two horizontal lines. Use the ruler to make the line straight. This vertical line should be the same length as the first vertical line you drew on the other side of the rectangle. After you draw this line, your rectangle is finished. How to draw a regular pentagon? A regular pentagon is a five-sided polygon with sides of equal length and interior angles of 108 degrees, or 3 pi over 5 region. Because 5 is a Fermat prime, you can construct a regular pentagon using only a straight edge and compass. Step 1. The first step to draw a perfect pentagon is to mark a dot in the center of your paper. Place your compass on the dot and draw a perfect circle. Step 2. Using the central dot and the protractor, divide the circle into 5 points. There are 360 degrees in a circle and 360 divided by 5 is equal to 72 degrees. So, you should mark a dot every 72 degrees. Use a protractor to get the perfect measurement for your pentagon. Step 3. Connect every adjacent point. Now, you have a pentagon whose measure of each interior angles is 108 degrees. You may use again your protractor to counter check. And lastly, how to construct a regular hexagon. Here are the steps. Number 1. Starting with the center point and side length. Plot the center point O of your hexagon and decide how long you want each side to be. Label this length S. Number 2. Plot two points on the vertical axis. S distance away from the center point. These points can be A and B. Number 3. Find the points halfway between the center point and A and the center point and B. There, plot perpendicular guidelines. You'll erase this later so don't mark them dark. As a side note, the distance between the two guidelines is also equal to S. Number 4, draw two more guidelines that are equal to the lengths of 2S or line AB from each perpendicular line to the other so that they run through the center point. The point where the guidelines intersect are the last four points of the hexagon. This can be called CD and EF. And lastly, number five, connect the dots between the points and erase the guidelines. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Talk with Angels. Keep safe!